buildings? I don't that's, think we put anything exciting in there, did we, Fred? No. I think that's a, it's a singular. A singular. It's not, not a plural. We yeah. just have one general government building. Um, and those costs continue to go up. I think of, you've all seen that in the last two years we've installed two major heating plants in this building. Yeah. There are four more to be replaced, and they are slowly but surely wearing out. Uh, so we're going to have some more expenses as we go along in, in keeping this building running, which, of course, was built in 1970. So it's, it's, it's not exactly brand new, and it, we've had a, a significant effort in trying to get things replaced in the building itself. But we yeah. managed to keep it within budget each year. Good. I don't know how we do it yet, but uh, we're, we're doing it. So... Uh, we did sign a new custodial contract this year, which is in this budget. Yeah. Uh, that's the first time in, I think, seven years we've actually had a new custodial mm -hmm. budget. And we are able to keep it at a happy medium. Good. Thank goodness. Uh, so we're pleased they'll be beginning the beginning of next month to clean the building. And hopefully we can move forward from there. We still have a lot of replacement work to do in the building. Mm -hmm. There's carpeting on the first floor in the offices that needs to be replaced, carpeting in the second floor in the offices that needs to be replaced. Uh, the carpeting in the main hall was replaced five years ago, and it's already starting to show excessive yeah. wear. Yeah. Uh, and it's very expensive to replace that carpeting. It's definitely not cheap. Mm. But we're trying to keep the budget as flat as we can and still continue to go on with the process and keep the building cleaned. Uh, we're trying to go back now and redo the woodwork in the building. We'll be doing that the first of next year. As you can see, it becomes stained from people putting their hands on the railing, which is yes. what they're supposed to do. Uh, we also need to paint, paint the building over again on a, on a gradual basis because the paint is starting to get dingy again. So mm -hmm. uh, that was done by Public Works, and they did a really good job. So the total budget that we're looking for here for this entire line item is, is up 11.226% uh, from 98.881 to 110.014. Some of that has to do with the inspections we're required, we're required to do. Um, we're required to inspect the elevator every month. Yeah. That's expensive to send somebody out here to do that. Uh, if we have, uh, anytime we have a fire alarm activation, they come back to reinspect the elevator again, so we pay again. Yeah. Uh, we do have the uh, fire systems checked every an annually. All the, uh, the hand extinguishers are changed and certified every year uh, to make sure they're in proper operating condition. Uh, we have a, down here in the back room, we have a uh, sprinkler system, which has to be checked and tested every single year. All those things are expensive, as well as the elevator and certain other things in the building. The HVAC systems are, are always a pain in the neck to do, but they're here because we have to have them because this is a closed building. So, mm -hmm. And we're hoping to keep those expenses within tight bounds if we can. Yeah, and this, this is one of the places I think you clearly excel in, Fred. Uh, it always looks good, and it's a big improvement over what it was in the past, I think. We try. Thank you. We try. Thank you. This is Walsley. Yeah, Fred, I noticed a lot of advertisements on TV for flooring, and I would think that it might be easier if you can get some pretty sturdy, say, wood flooring or whatever, instead of having carpets to deal with that, that could be swept or quick mopped in could we possibly explore that? Well, the problem is that when you have something besides indoor-outdoor carpeting, it requires a lot more effort to keep them cleaned. Yeah. Oh, it, I would carpet is <coughs> the, the carpet easiest carpet collects way. all this stuff. That's right. And we, they vacuum it out with special vacuums. That's why we, you'll notice the floor mats as you come in the front door. Yeah. We change those every single month. Wow. Summer, every, every month of the year. They, they change yeah. 12 months of the year. Because I was uh, wondering if, we, if you had some of those wooden floors, if you could just take, <coughs> you know, a, a mop or a squeegee or something and just... Not, just, not really that simple because no. of the amount of grit that's tracked into this building from uh, a parking lot and the street. And, they make people take their shoes off before they come in. Uh, I think that would be a little far reach for us. <laughs> and plus we don't, have a maintenance, we don't have a maintenance person here during the day, so when it's raining and snowing and stuff, you see the people at the grocery yeah. stores like 
uh, mopping up. I mean, I love wood floors, but I would think here that they would be more of a liability to us because yeah. you'd have to have someone here during the day to mop it's up fun. the wet yeah. floors from all the snow. At least it gets yeah. soaked into the disgusting carpet, but oh well. <laughs> kind, of give you a, kind of give you an idea. I mean, we use this hall for lots of things down here. Yeah. The school board uses it for meetings. Right. They'll be using their own building over there soon, but um, we don't have a janitor. Yeah. which means that the IT people and myself have to go down and reset this room every time there's an activity down yeah. here and clean it up because there's just nobody else to do it. Yeah. It's just the way it is. So there's a lot of work that goes on here that you don't see. Mm. Uh, and okay. the carpet is a lot easier to keep clean as long as people don't bring drinks in here and spill them. <laughs> yeah. As I noticed, there are excited to be spill spots available again. Yeah. So, And it's easily... Um, it's... The carpet is just so much easier to uh, to clean and to replace, and it's easier on people's feet. Oh, yeah, it is, especially yes. Especially when they're working every day. Oh. Replacement, we get this entire room, as long as the chairs and material are out of here, this entire room is replaced in less than a day. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. I have a question about the town office. So we're doing the work out in the parking lot now? We're making that ADA compliant. Okay, and that's all coming out of our current budget that's all coming out of the current budget okay and are we going to be able to finish that before the that'll be finished before the snow flies and we're hoping just another week oh okay. good thank so. you good and Excellent. now we have other safety services hydrant street lights oh, and yes. lifeguards mr welch uh those are expensive except for lifeguards where there's just one dollar because we don't have lifeguards at this point <laughs> Street lighting, as you know, we're replacing all the street lights in town with the exception of the original ones that we owned, which are down on Highland and, yeah. and Church Street. Uh, so that bill, will you'll see that slowly go down in the future Good. because we're going to uh, new type of lighting that will cost much less. Good. Hydrants is going to go up and, and the, the, the funds that you see in there, the 507-916, will be okay as long as there's no wicker charge. Every mm -hmm. year you'll notice this goes up because there's a wicker charge. Yeah. And we don't know what that is until after the budget's approved. Ah. So we just we just pay it, and, and that's that's the way it is. But that basically is for all the fire hydrants that we have in town, and they're rental because they belong to Aquarium. And there is a rate for it approved by the Public Utilities Commission. That's it. That's it. Yeah, and 